sixth year of this now, you know, what, what's different for you now in the sixth year than it was the first day you were on here? Uh, I would say the difference is relaxation. I think that the biggest thing for for um, for me is that you know some people say it look like it looks like I'm tired, but I'm so relaxed and calm that it makes it seem as I'm doing it so swiftly. So I think for me it's actually easier, it's calmer. For the younger guys, it's kind of hard to pick up the the defense because it's so fast tempo. Offense is running so extremely fast that it's kind of hard to think and get things done at the same time. What's the biggest goal you're telling these young corners as, as they come out here and prepare for a season? I think the biggest goal is trying to learn how to practice. You know, it's kind of it's kind of difficult when you come in as a freshman sophomore. You kind of really don't know how to practice, how to make plays in a safe manner. Making sure that your body is always swiftly, making sure you're fundamentally sound in all of your movements is kind of hard. You know, that's something that I'm learning now. So I'm trying to continue to continue to tell the players, you know, you got to recognize what you're doing on the field. You got to have to establish a common goal, a common thing that you want to get better at each and every practice. Okay, you had Coach Ward the entire spring now. You're kind of getting to know him. I'm seeing him getting on the case with some of these guys out here. Is there starting to see the more uh, the fiery side of him as, as the season gets closer? Definitely, definitely. He came in and, um, you know, he, he warned us. He was like, you know, I'm calm right now, but when camp comes, I'm, you're going to see a different side of me. So um, we've definitely seen that side of him. It's been an experience. You know, he's kind of more of a sense laid back, more focused on actually getting the point across instead of using some of the languages and things like that. So it's great. You know, it's a good approach for the players. They're more understanding. Coming in as a freshman, you kind of want a coach that's going to try and guide you and lead you to what you need to do in a calm manner. So I think that's very beneficial for him, and I think he's doing a great job at it. Uh, we talked Teddy Bridgewater a little bit in the spring, and now you know. Michael Dyer is there at running back. You know, what's the how, – how hard do you guys have to practice knowing you have aerial threat, ground threat, that you have to prepare for a whole lot coming from this Louisville Cardinal team? I think, um, I think for us it's going to be more so of understanding our defense, our ins and outs, understanding, communicating, doing all the fundamental things so that we're perfectly sound. And I think when you're a sound team, you're on the same page, I think you can, you know, you can cross those barriers with any team you play. So I think more so not looking at Louisville. Um, we respect them and the talent that they have, but I think that as long as the team is perfectly sound, successful in what they do, it's kind of great for the team itself. What are some of the goals moving forward with, you know, the rest of the camp and you know, as you prepare for the season? I think the main goal for us is getting on the same page. You know, sometimes I think last year and, and things like that practices, you could see that everyone wasn't on the same page. We had some, some mental breakdowns and the communication, lack of communication. I remember Coach, when we went to the Boise Idaho Potato Bowl, um, they watched Boise State practice and they, they experienced some extreme communication efforts from those guys. And they've really been harping on us to commend us to accomplish those type of goals. So going into this camp, I think communication is going to be a key value that we need to establish.